Hey guys, how are you doing today? So we are going to do our episode nine, is it 10 of Soft Rain today? And we left off with her waking up with flies on her face and smelling horrible and asking her mother if she could have a bath. I hope that later the soldiers will let us, mother answered. She was busy once more trying to mix the white man's flour into dough for bread. Soft Rain wanted to ask why they didn't have corn flour. Perhaps the white soldiers didn't know how to make it. She wrinkled her nose. The heat, smoke, grease, and cooking odors made her stomach feel weak again. The dough looks better. Maybe it will cook properly, Mother said, placing her pan over the fire. Soft Rain watched, wondering how her mother could stand being so near the hot coals. Shall I look for old roving man, she asked. Maybe he will eat with us. Mother nodded, never looking up from the bread. The pen was not large, but larger than the one at the home that protected their animals. Are the soldiers protecting the real people? Soft Rain wondered, from what? She walked twice around the pen and saw several people with white hair, but she didn't find old roving man. Some of the people were coughing and babies were crying. Everyone looked hot and unwashed. Soft rain remembered passing a river just before they were herded inside. She peeked through the cracks between the logs and saw that the river was close. A soldier walked near, blocking her view. She could see his shiny belt buckle. Putting her mouth close to a crack, she said, Soldier man, can you hear me? We need to go to the river to bathe and cool ourselves. When he bent down, squinting at her, through the crack, he could, she could see his blue eyes. Go back to your mother, little girl. No one gets to bathe. Soft rain turned away. Salty, gritty tears ran into her mouth. Mother was removing the hot pan from the coals. Look, soft rain, the bread is not burned. Come and eat. She bit into a piece. The bread hadn't burned, but it still wasn't like bread made from corn and beans. It was dry, crumbly, and tasteless. Soft Rain managed to eat a small piece. She could swallow none of the salty meat. Here is water, a soldier yelled, leaving a full bucket and taking away the empty one. People quickly crowded around, dipping into the bucket until the water was gone. Mother filled their cups, but Soft Rain was still thirsty when hers was empty. She looked at her cup grandmother's cup. For a moment, she saw herself at home running to the creek and trudging back, bringing the family's water supply. I'm going to cry. So sad. No one was ever thirsty at home. Would the soldiers let her bring water from the river? She knew they would not. Mother kept chewing the bread. It's best to eat slowly, she said. An old man shuffled by, staring at the bread left in the pan. Soft rain nodded when mother looked at her. She gave the man the last of their bread. Oh, this mother is smart. This mother is kind. I didn't find old roving man. Where can he be? Soft Green asked. He would not want to be in a pen, mother answered. I saw him walk away the night before we arrived here. Why didn't you try to stop him? Soft Rain asked. It would have been useless. Where would he go? Maybe back home. Maybe. Mother did not finish her thought wonder what she's thinking, where he went. Did her mother mean that maybe he would not get home? Tears blurred Soft Rain's eyes when she pictured old roving man alone, struggling to return home. Then she remembered the little people. If they found him, he would be safe. She wiped away her tears. Maybe he is with them, she thought, telling stories. When two soldiers pulled the gate open, people began rushing toward it. Their voices became hushed. Soft Rain watched as more Saligi were pushed inside. She looked at each new person, expecting to see Father and Hawk Boy, but only strangers appeared. They were soon crowded, even closer together to make room for the new people. The moaning inside the pen resumed, and over those sounds, coming from outside the pen, Soft Rain heard a loud tapping noise and shouts of soldiers. Not here! Over there! Watch what you're doing! Soft rain peered through the crack. She saw soldiers carrying logs. Are they building another pen, she wondered. How many more real people are coming here? Bye, guys.